everybody! Welcome to Dave TV! <laughs> How y'all doing, everybody? I have to scream and yell, because if I don't, at the very beginning of my little Dave TVs, my little internet um, application thing, you will say, I'm not detecting any audio. Uh, please start over. That's like, I have to scream. Can you hear me? <laughs> Uh, welcome to Dave TV for the 31st of January 2013. Can you believe it? Um, 1 12th of 2013 is already just about over. <laughs> wow, this year's going by fast, ain't it though? <laughs> uh, okay, um, life for all. Light bulbs for all, the Baltimore Sun. Let's look at David Zerwick today. How's he doing? Oh, he's a very influential columnist there. He does a lot of media column there at the uh, at the Baltimore Sun. Look at this. Jeff Zucker wastes no time in starting to rebuild CNN. I posted yesterday. Wow, seven comments. Woohoo! Look at this. Jim Nance, Phil Sims, and Ray Lewis. They're only part of the Raven story. Wow, look at the interest on that one. Two comments. Chris Cuomo leaves ABC. One comments. <laughs> hey, this guy's influential. Ray Lewis, uh, Squirrel Dance. Six comments. <laughs> Ten comments on his Hillary, Hillary thing. Okay, he did get 44 on uh, Sarah Palin. They probably linked to him on News Blues or something. One comment for his spacey... Netflix thingy dingy. Oh, excuse me here. Phone's ringing. Let's see who this is. I will have to take that uh, at another time. That's my, uh, it's Betsy Rothstein. Sorry, Betsy, I'll have to talk to you later. She's probably asking me for advice on how to get more drudge links. Okay. Anyhow, just wanted to point out that that influential, the influential David Zerowick there. <laughs> Light for all. Glenn Hollis. Glenn Hollis, um, if you are a Washington radio aficionado like I am, you remember Glenn from, I guess it was about 94 to 2006. He did a show in the evenings on WASH 97.1 where he, and I'll bet you my landline rings in a second because that person's going to call me there. Anyhow. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Betsy. Talk to you later. Um, anyhow, Glenn Hollis got some news that Glenn's going to be back on, well, not really on the air. He's going to be back on the intranets. And, uh, and, uh, so, uh, glennhollis.com. And here he is, Glenn Hollis's love dedication. And we get some music up there. Love songs and dedication with Glenn Hollis. And uh, he's, you can you can listen to Glenn uh, on this website. He's going to be doing his show from seven to midnight there on um, on the intranet. He's got a phone number. Um, and uh, you know he was on he was on Wash FM up until about two thousand and six, and then uh, he came back for a little while and did a and did a um, did a Sunday brunch show there. And there's Glenn. So there's the site. And if you love if you love those evening love songs to get you in the mood, Glenn Hollis. Um, you know, and, and it's just, it, it's you know there was an article um, that was written up in the Washington Post back when Glenn first was uh, unceremoniously discharged from Wash back there in 06. or you know then he came back in 08 for a little while to do the Sunday brunch show. Just saying how you know it's and they put I think they put Delilah on which is nationally syndicated, but it's just kind of sad to see so many local people, some really good local talent, and we got a whole bunch of them, you know, people like Davy Jones and people like uh, Ken Merson and people like uh, Johnny Dark and a whole bunch of cool local people in the local media market who should be on the radio today. Michael Mara even you know who's on the radio, but you know hey a big signal. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know. There's so many cool people out there that have a lot of talent that aren't being utilized properly by this band of corporate media marauders that runs radio today. So there. <laughs> Make money. Yeah, whatever. 
But anyhow, Glenn's good. it's good news for Glenn. Glenn back up, available. Uh, let's now hope that uh, Wash comes back to its senses and says, Hey, Glenn, come on back! I do. I, I've been really liking Wash. Last weekend they did a really cool um, '80s pop uh, kind of featurey thing. Lots of cool stuff like the Human League and stuff. I really did enjoy um, listening to Wash last weekend. Lots of cool stuff there. Um, Cayman Kelly. He's a long DC, long time DC radio voice man. Heard, heard over there on MMJ Magic 1023. We're hearing that he is the new imaging voice. For a new station in Boston, Hot 96.9, which is used to be a talk station. And they flip format at the beginning of the year to a, a rhythmic contemporary sound. So he's going to be the imaging voice over there. He does a lot of imaging work at stations all around the country. So good news for Mr. Cayman Kelly. Also, uh, one of project we've been closely following, a documentary on the Bayou, Georgetown's former music hall. You know, the old club there. Remember for many years there uh, on M Street. Uh, well, it's a, Bayou, it's a documentary called The Bayou, DC's Killer Joint. That's going to be premiered tonight down there at the uh, AMC. The AMC Lowe's Georgetown, and it's also got an air date on February 25th uh, at on Maryland Public Television. So mark that in your calendar. And some uh, and some other news. Gordival tomorrow night, Friday night, first of February, 7:30 over there at the AFI Silver. Um, he will be hosting House of Frankenstein as part of his 40th anniversary of being on DC TV. From what we're told, I wasn't. I was around in 1973, but I probably didn't make note of it mentally. That's when he first started there on Channel 20. Channel 20, where he was also Captain 20, 2020 in the morning over there on uh, WDCA. And some very nice news here. Uh, Jim Farley, one of our favorites, got a bouquet of flowers from Carolyn... Mathis, right? Mathis, M-A-T-H-E-S, Ma Mathis, Car Karen Mathis, Karen Mathis, Karen Mathis, K-A-R-Y-N-M-A-T-H-E-S. She's the head honcho there at WAMU, which has been stealing the thunder from WTOP lately because WAMU has been the top station in many of the ratings periods beating out WTOP. She sent uh, Jim Farley a very nice flower, a lovely flower arrangement to um, welcome, to uh, to kind of say, as you approach retirement, thank you for the reminder that while aging is mandatory, maturing is apparently optional. So, you know, they're probably looking forward to... <laughs> a lot of people are looking forward to Jim's retirement over there at WAMU and uh, WNEW, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, wow. Latest radio ratings came out. Looking at the money demo, let's take a real quick look at the money demo numbers here. Uh, money demo hot 99.5 for the first week of January uh, in the in the lead wash second top third again all those three stations um, well okay interesting huh interesting interesting that wash is sticking and well wash has actually dropped quite a bit in its audience number since running Christmas music over the holiday period, but it still managed to stay in second place. So that's pretty cool. Whammo in fourth place in the Money Demo 2554HUR, fifth place, KYS, sixth place. I'm not seeing any huge big trends. I am seeing, okay, a little bit of an upward trend there for Praise 1049, uh, going up to seventh place from where they used to be at 10th place. Looks like DC 101 is back on a little bit of an upward trend again, up to eighth place. Um, MMJ also tied at eighth place. Um, and most of these other stations are staying pretty level. KY, KYS, RQX, PGC, pretty level. Hot 99.5, maybe a tad of an upward trend for them. A little bit of a downward spike for a slide for El Zol. Uh, TEM, kind of staying steady. WB has taken a drop. The classic rocker hit station is down a bit from where it was back in the fall. They were up in the top 10. Now they're kind of sliding back to 15th place. I think they need to play more deep tracks and more local personalities, okay? They need to, it, the station isn't sounding local enough. Um, you know, we love Lisa Berrigan middays, but they need more of a local sound on that station. MZQ taking a big dive. They're down to 18th place. Again, they, there's something wrong with them. What's wrong with them? What's wrong with them? <laughs> Has DC fallen out of love with country music? Who knows? 
<laughs> I don't know. They're just, they seem to be stumbling. Uh, MAL down to 22nd place in the 2554 money demo. You know, man, what are you going to say about them? Uh, and WNEW up a bit. They were, um, oh, they were down as low as 27th place in the holiday period, and now they're up to 23rd place. Again, not seeing a big um, a share number increase for them, but at least in the ranking numbers, they're up there to 23rd place. Also seeing a slump for Wita FM Classical at 26th place. Um, you know, I bet you they're kicking themselves for dropping that talk format a couple years ago, back when GMS went up. But remember when G you know, T WETA 90.9 was uh, leaning toward a talk format there for quite a while, which was what Wham was doing so successfully. And then when GMS went belly up a couple years ago and, uh, you know, Bonneville pulled the plug on them to put TOP on 103.5 and all that stuff, um, they gave, basically said, hey, WETA, if you go full-time classical, we'll give you the GMS calls in our record library. And they said yes. But, you know, their ratings aren't doing so hot. Uh, it's that skewing old thing. That skewing old thing. <laughs> They are st we're skewing old along with WMAL. Whatever. All right, folks, that's Dave TV for the 31st of January 2013. Live long and prosper.